Welcome everybody. Today we're going to create a cool 3D tilt effect using keyframes in Pro Show Producer 5. I've got Producer open here with my effect created, so let's take a quick look at what the finish effect will look like, then we'll dive in and create it together. As you can see, we have an image flipping 180 degrees onto the screen, pausing, then flipping 180 degrees off the screen. This is easy to do in Pro Show Producer 5. Let's walk through how to get the setup. We'll start by dropping in a photo and then setting the time to about 12 seconds. Then double click to go to the slide options dialog. While in slide options, select your layer and click on the layer settings tab. Go ahead and set the layer zoom to 50%. You can use your mouse slider wheel or the zoom slider. After you've done that, click on the effects tab at the top. This is where you can apply any kind of effect using keyframing, including 3D Tilt. First, let's set up the basic left to right motion. In the first keyframe, we need to move our image off the screen to the left. So grab your photo and drag it off to the left of the screen. Now click on keyframe two, then click and drag the layer off the screen to the right. And after you've done that, let's play back what we've done so far. Our photo is now moving from one side of the screen to the other, but we still need to add in our flips and pause in the middle. To add in our 3D flips, click on keyframe one. Since we moved our layer off the screen, it's hard to see where it is. In Pro Show 5, you can use this new zoom preview slider to get a better look at your slide and the area around it. If we set the zoom to about 45%, we can see our layer that we moved off to the left. Now, set the horizontal tilt to a negative 180 degrees. After you've done that, select keyframe two and set the horizontal tilt to positive 180 degrees. Now, play back your effect. As you can see, our photo flips on and then flips off. Now, all we have to do is put the pause in the middle. To do this, right click on the keyframe timeline at about the four second mark and then select insert. This will insert a new keyframe. After you've done that, right click at the six second mark to insert one more keyframe. You should now have a total of four keyframes on the timeline. Keyframe two represents our pause in the middle of the slide. So click on keyframe two and pull your image to the middle of the screen and then set the tilt to zero. Since we want our photo to stay paused until keyframe three, we need keyframe three to have the same position as keyframe two. The easiest way to do this is to click the copy button towards the bottom of the window and then select copy to next keyframe. In previous versions of Pro Show, this was referred to as copy start to end. Since Pro Show 5 focuses only on one keyframe at a time, this has been renamed to copy to next keyframe, but it basically works the same exact way. So if you click from keyframe two to keyframe three, you'll now see that they have the same positions. Now if we hit play, we should see the final effect. From here, you can try adding a background image, photo border, shadow, or multiple layers to jazz up your effect to make it your own. With a little bit of practice, you can create something truly unique and special. So there you have it, a quick and simple effect using 3D Tilt and keyframing in Pro Show Producer 5. You can download a free trial or upgrade to the latest version of Pro Show on our website at www.photodex.com.